It's a scene just like this one, posted to YouTube months ago. Motorcycles burning out as people pull out their phones to record the noise, the smoke, and of course, the racing. It stopped for a while, but it got worse and worse lately. They would line up in our parking lot, and you know our customers would complain every day. We were giving out refunds almost every day. Nirav Patel, the assistant manager of the Days Inn on Fox and Boulevard, says it's been a problem for years. People are racing on their bikes or... You know, they, some of them even had kids in the car. But over the weekend, New Haven police tell us officers set up traffic posts at targeted locations like this McDonald's across the street, where alleged street racers and spectators would gather. They ended up towing 10 cars and arresting 47 adults and one juvenile. Charges ranging from trespass to even motor vehicle charges like operating an unregistered vehicle and misusing plates. Friday, Saturday nights, Thursday, sometimes during the daytime, right during the broad daytime. Yeah, it's ridiculous. Greg Moore with Fox and Lube and Tire says the speed is his biggest concern, especially with people crossing the street or standing at a nearby bus stop. So he's thankful to finally see some enforcement. Very happy. It might slow it down for a little while, but they have to stay consistent and stay on it because it will pick back up. It's been going on for years. And he's not alone. I hope it stays clean because, you know, we're losing a lot of business over this. A lot of people are upset over this.